I started at UC Davis as a medical student in 2001 and then when I graduated I decided I wanted to go into psychiatry and I interviewed at different training programs around the country and decided that I liked our training program the best and so I stayed. And then when I graduated from residency I stayed on as faculty so I could teach other UC Davis students who were starting out their careers. Psychiatry it can be really invasive, you ask patients very personal questions. You hear stories most people never hear. I am the instructor of record for the second year medical student psychiatry course, and so I teach second years who have never had any exposure to psychiatry yet in medicine. When Sandy Hook happened, I was not just a psychiatrist, but I was a mom of two kids in elementary school, and I got really tired of people saying that this was all the fault of the mental health system, and that if we'd only fix the mental health system, we wouldn't have any more mass shootings. And I was in the ER one day working and overheard a conversation with some of the ER attendings about this whole debate about whether it was the guns or whether it was mental illness. And I kind of butted into the conversation and said, I have a few things to say about this. I was encouraged to write an op-ed piece about my thoughts for the SAC B. I'm Dr. Amy Barnhorst, and I'm a psychiatrist on a mental health crisis unit. So it was surprising to me how many people were really interested in the perspective of a clinical psychiatrist and how we can prevent people with mental illness who are dangerous from accessing firearms while not overly stigmatizing them as people who are super violent. There's so many different reasons people are violent and angry, but if you can just stop people at that point where they try to get a gun, they can't become mass shooters. There's a lot of interest in what the interface is between mental illness and violence, particularly when there's a mass shooting and we're talking about gun violence. This law, as we heard, fills a really important gap between the criminal justice system and the mental health system. I've been surprised at how I feel like people are very open to it and I'm seeing some folks change their mind. Mm -hmm.